Well, hello there, guys, girls, non-binary people. It's your favorite unsalted cracker. It's your boy, Brother Reed, here yet again. People with us today, as always, joining the back by our sidekick. You guys know him as The Box. We also have with us today, we have Alexa. What is Oreo ice cream? Here's something I found on the web. According to tarlatalal.com, Oreo is a sandwich cookie with cream filling. Yeah. That was a pretty good answer there. So as always, guys, it looks like it's that time. It's time for another exciting, insane, super official, thought-provoking, straight-edge food product review if YouTube's only true 365 day your food product reviewer we're here every day 365 uh, we got oreos brand new oreo bars it's made with real oreo cookie pieces and if it didn't say that i would not have bought it because i was like it's gonna be good and another reason why i know it's gonna be good it was i think five over five dollars a little over five dollars we get five of these so we know it's gonna be a premium item Pretty good. It's gonna. It's gotta be good. As long as it has the Oreo flavor mixed with ice cream, that's all you can really ask ask for. I'm hoping it tastes like a um, like a Dairy Queen Oreo Blizzard. I'm coming. I'm hoping it has that kind of flavor. So we're gonna give this a review. See what it's all about. As always, guys. Remember, if you have anything you like, read the box. Archie Lex review. You gotta leave a comment below. If we like it, might just pick it out. Review your request next. Thumbnail: Oreos, ice cream, chocolate cookies. What more could a redneck ask for? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alexa, when was the Oreo Blizzard invented? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Oreos were introduced in 1902. We know that. Right off, we get our premium. Premium. Look at that. That is premium. It's got its own artwork. A lot of you know a lot of these a lot of these ice creams you buy that's cheap just comes in like a regular white you know regular white seal plastic wrap or whatever when you get something premium like this it's not just about the uh, ice cream itself it's about how it's delivered it's about the package you know it's like when you go see a stripper well when you go to the bar and see a, a pretty girl there She's gonna be all prettied up. She's gonna be a nice looking package. It's more than just, I don't even know what, I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know either. I don't know, I'm stupid. But you get what I'm saying. Now, I will say this right off. Look how good that looks. And look at the little attention to details, people. Oreo on the stick. That right there, that tells me right off. We've got a premium item. At least it's attempting to be a premium item. So we're going to see how good it is. You never know. You can see the cookie bits sticking out all around the uh, the big chocolate dong, as the ex-wife will call it as, she, as she's riding it. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, here we go. Here's what she looks like. Now, I will say this, people. It is good, but it's not as good as I expected. I guess I've been spoiled by the uh, Oreo Blizzards in the past where I've, I used to eat them at least once a week. I've not had an Oreo Blizzard in three years, people. But... I was just, I was having a flashback to the Oreo Blizzard when I bought this. I was like, that's what it's got to be like. It is somewhat like that, but it's definitely missing um, 
What messes it up, people, is uh, it's not just the cookie bits on the outside. It's got the chocolate here on the outside of that around the cookie bits. That's what messes it up, really. It's got a little bit of cookie bits inside. Not horrible. It's still good. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's still a good item. It does fall short, though. It's not as good as I thought it would be. Uh, we don't have uh, much of an Oreo cookie flavor with this, really. But it's still good. Yeah, it's still good. No doubt about that. Um, it's good. It's just not what I expect. You know, I had my expectations were too high for this. Kind of like when I got married. You know, you say better for worse. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna give it four stars. I mean, it's still good. But I thought, man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a five star item. There's no way this is not gonna get five stars. I was like, there's no way. But it's four and it's still good. The ice cream on the inside is good. The biggest drawback to this is the outside layer mixed with the uh, cookies. But it's still good. She's trying to talk to me. Alexa, have you ever been turned off? Sorry, I'm not sure. Yeah, definitely a four-star item. Still very good. I highly recommend checking it out. But again, it's this was $5 on the nose. It was $4.98 or $4.97 something like that so almost five bucks there you go and i would i recommend it check it out so as always guys that's going to be the official review thanks so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and we're going to see you guys next time because we try to do a review every day 365 days a year as always guys thanks so much for watching have a good day now toodles I don't have any napkins, people. You know what that means. We're just going to wipe it off on the shirt. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But um, the, strip, the six strips of bacon is really what makes a difference on this sandwich. That cheese is wonderful. We got the double. The meat is wonderful. The onions are great. I took the pickles off. I'm not going to lie about it. I did take the pickles off. Uh, they were three pickles on it. Uh, the bacon is wonderful. Everything about the